Okay, so today we're going to talk about temperature and also temperature scales. So first of all, what is temperature? Well, of course, we know that temperature measures the degree of hotness of any given substance or object, right? But in uh, A-levels, of course, we're, we want to have a deeper understanding of what temperature is. So we will see in uh, the course of this uh, discussion of this topic that temperature is related to something called the average molecular kinetic energy of an object. So basically, the higher the temperature is, the faster these the vibrations or these movements of the particles are. Of course, if we're looking at solids and liquids, then we're, the movement, of course, is vibrations. If we're talking about gases, it'll be just the uh, speed at which the average speed at which these uh, particles travel at. All right. So temperature, remember, is directly related to the average molecular Ke of your substance. And one of the most basic things uh, that we have or we need to understand in temperature are temperature scales. And one of the most common temperature scales is the degree Celsius scale. We use this every day. And scientifically, we call this an empirical scale. So remember that an empirical scale is basically one that is based on some thermometric property. So I'm just going to write these keywords down. And a thermometric property of a substance is a property that varies with temperature. So, for example, um, if you think about your degree Celsius scale, uh, so one of the nicest things or most common things that we think about is your liquid in glass thermometer, right? Which goes something like that. Okay. And so, of course, we are measuring temperature using this thermometer, not directly by measuring well, degree of hotness, but you're measuring how much a liquid expands. And we know that the expansion of a liquid is directly related to the temperature. And so the expansion of a liquid is basically called a thermometric property. So while degree Celsius scale is used quite commonly in everyday life, it is not the preferred choice in scientific applications for several reasons. Mm, we don't like this in science. First of all, empirical scales choose reference points like the melting point of ice, which is, of course, called zero degree Celsius, and the uh, boiling point of water, which is what we will call 100 degree, 100 degree Celsius. There is absolutely no reason why these should be as such, but we just choose them to be, and that's because these are your reference points. Now, the problem with these reference points is that they uh, change with your physical condition. They're not fixed, right? Depending on the pressure and temp uh, sorry, depending on the pressure or humidity conditions, these points, melting point and boiling point of water, can change depending on where you are. So it's not great, right? And the other problem, of course, with the degree Celsius scale is it does not start from zero, and this is bad. And why that's a bad thing? Because in some scientific applications, right? Think about your PV equals to nRT, right? We know that. P is supposed to be proportional to T. And so if P is zero, that's supposed to correspond to the minimum temperature, which should be zero as well. But in the degree Celsius scale, it is not. The degree Celsius scale can go negative. So to solve this problem, right, we talk about the Kelvin scale, which is what we call an absolute scale. And of course, in an absolute scale, this is one which starts from zero. Right, and only goes in one direction. So basically, zero is the lowest possible temperature, and it goes up this way. Okay, and we like the Kelvin scale because of that, and also because of its reference points. Right, so we choose what we call absolute zero as one reference point. This is the lowest possible temperature, zero Kelvins. And we use the triple point of water, which is the point where water can exist in all three states right, uh, as the other point. This is, of course, going to be 0 0.01 degrees Celsius, okay, and we, if we work that out, that's actually going to be 273.16 uh, Kelvins, okay. So, Kelvins are preferred to uh, the degree Celsius scale because of its fixed reference points and also because it's an absolute scale. 